I call the moon my home for three days of my life, and I'm here to tell you about it. That's science fiction. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. And it was a bold move. It had some risky aspects to it. But it was a time when we made bold moves. It's T minus one hour, 29 minutes, and 53 seconds, and counting. I had the feeling the whole world was watching us. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. Not only do I have a lot of things I can do wrong, but the consequences, should I do them wrong, are going to be immediately obvious to three billion people. Ignition sequence starts. Five, four, three, two, one. Then it dawned on me from an emotional point of view that we're going to go to the moon. All your systems are looking good. Going around the corner, we'll see you on the other side. Over. We went into darkness after being in daylight the whole time, and we're in the shadow of the moon. Look at that. Unbelievable. I felt that I was literally standing on God's front porch. I remember thinking, uh, my God, that little thing is so fragile out there. That jewel of Earth would just hung up in the blackness of space. People, instead of saying, well, you Americans did it, everywhere they said, we did it. We, the human race, we people did it. And I thought that was a wonderful thing.